Hey guys, this is Ed Rowe. Today we're going to be talking about what Hard Hat is, what it's used for, and give you a quick run through on how to use it. So, what is Hard Hat? Hard Hat is a package that is used for developing blockchain apps, specifically for Ethereum. It allows you to deploy smart contracts easily as well as provide an array of tools that help you debug, test, and compile your contracts with ease. Of course, Hardhat is probably one of the many packages you've heard about. So if you come from regular web development and enjoyed the endless number of JavaScript packages, don't worry, you'll feel just at home because Hardhat is just one of the many overly ambitious packages in the blockchain ecosystem. Fortunately though, this is one of the rare cases that the choice for using this package is pretty clear where Hardhat's ambition pays off. Among the most popular Ethereum packages like Truffle, Remix, Hardhat. Luckily, you'll only have to decide between the Truffle ecosystem, which means you'll almost always be using Ganache and Web3.js with it, or you'll be using the Hardhat ecosystem, which means you'll be using Waffle and Ethers.js. Brownie is another alternative, but it is specifically for Python. Remix has some overlap with Hardhat and Truffle, but it is specifically for smart contracts only, and even then, it's specifically for lightweight usage and prototyping, whereas Hardhat and Truffle are more for bigger projects. And finally, the decision between Hardhat and Truffle is pretty simple as well. If you're just starting blockchain development, I highly, highly recommend Hardhat over Truffle. In 2021, most developers who have used both Truffle and Hardhat are definitely favoring Hardhat. The ease of use the ability to write deployment scripts, the extensibility, clear documentation, built-in TypeScript support, console log support, debug tools, all of these favor Hardhat. The only reason why you would use Truffle is that it may have more learning resources and it's more mature because it's been around longer. But we are definitely at the phase where Hardhat is becoming the clear winner in production level applications. Anyways, to get a better idea about Hardhat, let's start coding and creating a new directory. So I'm a new directory in Visual Studio Code and I have Node installed. If you don't have Node installed, there is a link down below that you can look at to install Node globally. Okay, and the first thing we want to do is run npm init. So this will initialize our package and we're just gonna hit enter until we finish it. And from there, we now have a package JSON so we can install things. So now, first thing we want to do is npm install save dev hardhat. So now we can install hardhat as our base. After that's installed, the first thing we're going to do is run npx hardhat. Here, we're going to get four different options. We're going to go with the first one, creating a basic sample project. And we are just going to hit enter, enter enter and wait for that to install all those extra packages. So essentially what this is doing is installing a basic sample project so we can just get off the ground running with all the dependencies that we will need. Now, once that's finished installing, we can check out what Hardhat has given us. So first we have these contracts files. So this is a default contract file that we can take a look. And as you can see, we have our smart contract right here. And we have some imports and we have solidity import. And we're going to have a couple functions that are by default. So this is where we can write our smart contracts. You can create a new file, do anything you want in here. And then we have the scripts folder, which this provides a way of deploying your contracts. So a lot of these scripts you can run and have it automated and do different things. But for basic purposes, you can generally keep the same. You can copy this and use this script. And then we have the test folder, which has the automated test that we can write to test our smart contract. These tests are very important for something like smart contracts where you cannot change the code. So if unlike web development, where you can change the code on the fly, when you deploy a smart contract, you cannot change the code. So it's very important to get your logic correct the first time. And then next we have the hardhat config. So this is 
a configuration file so you have different settings that you can use to deploy your hard contract. You can choose different versions. You can have the optimizer setting enabled for the compiler of the smart contract. Um, you can also specify different versions for different contracts and you can diff have all these different types of settings and you can even import all the network settings and private keys and setting up all that ki kind of goodies in this environment. And if you're curious about more configurations, you can go to this link with hardhat config. So there's all these different types of settings that you can change. Um, you can take a look whenever you need it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to run npx hardhat compile. So this command will compile our contracts that are existing in the contracts file. So after compilation, we're going to get these two folders. Cache is just an internal file that hardhat uses, so you don't have to ever really touch this. But you can look at artifacts, which is the main thing we want to look at, which is it gives us all the information that's needed to deploy our contract, as well as provide a greeter JSON file, which is of the most concern to us because this is a JSON version of our contract. So we can use this to call our methods using different uh, libraries like ethers. So now npx hardhat compile is only one of the commands that we've, we use, but there are a lot of several commands that you can go to this link, which is down in the description below. But if you see available tasks over here, we have all these different commands that we can use. So compile was one of them. Um, we have run, test, help, flatten, all these you can read up. Um, but first we're gonna do node. So basically we're gonna go into our terminal and write npx hardhat node. So what this will do, it will create a list of 20 accounts and also set up a private local environment that we can deploy our contract to. The reason why you would use an environment like this is that you have full control of anything that happens in this particular blockchain and it's also very fast. You need a fast network like this when you're testing because if you're trying to test on a test network, which is something that's live and you usually use that to test all your contracts, local environment gives us more advantage because we have more control, it's faster, we can set up our own, own accounts that have a 10,000 ETH, so it's very convenient to use. So once we have that, we can now test in our local environment. So we're gonna do that by creating another terminal and we are going to run mpx hardhat run scripts and we're going to copy this name, which is sample script .js. And we're going to do dash dash network and localhost. So now this will run this script. And this script will essentially, if you take a look at what's happening in here, it's going to get our contract factory, which is just information about our contract and it's going to deploy that with hello hardhat and as you can see what it's saying is greeter deployed to this address so this console log gives us the contract that we need and if you take a look in our node if you scroll down we can see that this originally wasn't popped up but we have now deployed our contract in our local environment and our node is showing this information. But now that our greeter contract has been deployed in our local environment, what if I wanted to call um, one of the methods that exist in this contract that we deployed like greet or set greeting? So what you can do is run npx hardhat console dash dash network local host. This will allow us to run a console where we can write different functionality to test it. But the first thing you want to do is copy this in our sample script over here and over here. So basically what this is doing 
it gives us the contract. It allows us to deploy the contract and grab the information as we need. So once we have done that, we can do console log await type greeter dot greet like so. So essentially we're calling this function right here. And as you can see, we can have hello hard hat. So this will allow us to test methods on this contract using this console is very convenient. So you don't have to go outside of your IDE to test your contract. And then let's say if we want to call um, set greeting, we're going to write await set greeting. Oops, sorry, greeter dot set greeting. I'll say hola hard hat like so. We get this long console log. We don't really need to worry about that. And now if we call console log greet await greeter dot greet. Now we see hola hard hat. All right, so now let's get our console, which we can do with command control C. Um, and then what we're going to do is what if we wanted to use our test? So we have a test sample test written over here in sample test. And we can write console log. I'm, I'm a test over here. So essentially what this unit test function that's given to us with hard hat is that we are deploying our contract. We're going to expect this type of greeting and we are going to see the console log that we've written. So what we're going to do is run npx hard hat test. And if you take a look, we have greeter deploying a greeter with greeting. This is all happens when you um, deploy your contract. And I'm a test. As you can see, we have this console log over here. So anytime you want to test your contract in an automated way, this is another way to test the methods that you have in your contract. So then the, now the last thing you can do is you can deploy your contract into a test network instead of the local environment. So if you want to do that, what you would have to do is go to your MetaMask, create a new account, go to that particular test network, like a faucet, grab the ether, and you would use that account to deploy on the test network like so, depending on the network you want to use, for example, Ropsted. So you can use Hardhat to configure these things and deploy your contract on the test network and even on mainnet once you have um, a contract that you feel you're comfortable with and have the ether to deploy it. And this is where Hardhat basically shines. You have all these configurations you would set a lot of those settings in this file and to make it easy for you to deploy your contract. And that's pretty much it. As you can see, hard hat has become the industry standard, um, more so than the truffle, which is more of an outdated package at this point. Um, it is a very nice and robust package that gets you up and started with very minimal effort and can be used to create industry level applications with a lot of ease. While this doesn't have as many resources and tutorials as Truffle does, Heart Hat is slowly becoming the most well-loved and very developed package among the blockchain community. Anyways, like, comment, and subscribe to receive future content. Thank you.